My name is Marisol Castro and I'm the managing attorney in the Removal Defense Unit here at DMRS. I was born in Mexico and I came here at an early age and I knew since I was very young that I wanted to be an attorney. I wanted to be an advocate, I wanted to defend, and I wanted to fight for people. And so eventually I did get to go through law school and become a criminal defense attorney. That was my dream, to be like Atticus Finch from To Kill a Mockingbird and to be able to help those people who can't speak for themselves. I did that for 10 years in Santa Barbara, California, and I enjoyed what I was doing, I, I really did. Uh, but it got to a point where I felt like I needed to do something bigger. As I was watching the news and seeing what was going on here in the border uh, while I was still in California, and I was uh, watching what was going on with zero tolerance, where the people were getting separated, the families were getting separated, children were getting taken away from their mothers, I thought, that's what I need to do. I need to go to the border and I need to figure out how I can help them. So I took a huge leap of faith and I dissolved my private practice and I came to El Paso, not really knowing DMRS existed, but eventually when I found out about it, I knew this was exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to work here at DMRS and I love that I now get to represent people from all around the world. I get to be here at the border and welcome them into our country and I've gotten to meet people from Cameroon, from other parts of Africa from Nicaragua, from Cuba, and it's just great to be able to help so many people from all around the world. I think what inspires me is the fact that my clients are putting all their faith in, in my hands. And when we finally get that asylum grant, or we finally get them into the country, or we get them released from the detention center, my favorite part is to watch them. Uh, you could hear it in their voice, you could see it, the relief that they feel. And I think that's what I continue to fight for, is to give them that relief they have this weight on their shoulders. Some of them are literally here hoping that they don't get sent back to their country because they will be killed. And to be able to assure them that their life is now uh, gonna be protected and that their life is going to have a whole new future here in the United States, that's my favorite part.